What's up guys, Tom Davis here, America's canine educator. On this episode, you're gonna see a two-year-old Rottweiler named Finn, who has been to a couple different trainers already and has severe dog reactivity. <clears throat> so this has made Finn's life and his owner's life very stressful and very frustrating because Finn can't go anywhere outside of the house. Even if they go into the yard, Finn is still very, very reactive. Now in this session, I usually take a couple different sessions to explain what I do, but because of the size and strength of this dog, I end it within 10 minutes and get this owner and Finn back on track. Activity and aggression, okay, different behaviors with that. Alright, alright. Okay, so see, see, I got him. Yep. So see what's going on here? Is he's, he's, what's happening is, is he sees another dog and then he reacts like, why don't you go grab the leash from that? See the engagement I get from him? Yes. Right? So, that's what you want to create. Okay? Yeah. Good. So, see how he's on me? Mm -hmm. Loose leash. Yeah? So what I'm doing is think of me as think of him and I as a rubber band right now. Okay. I'm on one side, he's on the other. I come out, he sees the other dog, it starts to stretch. I come this way, and then it goes back to normal size. Alright? If he goes too far, he's gonna snap the rubber band, it's gonna snap him. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. So I want him to be in this distance, like like, like this. Alright? And if he gets outside of that. Like that, it's gonna snap. Okay, so the, the, the rubber band's gonna break. And he's gonna get a snap. Okay? So then what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm gonna do that without the dog first. So walking this way. Walking back this way. So he's keeping that rubber band in its real form, right? Right tight with me. Like glue. Okay? Back this way. So if he doesn't comply, that rubber band will snap. Right? Follow? Yes, it right. is. So I get closer and closer, snap. Right there. Because I'm going back this way. And he's not paying attention to me. Right, and he's not paying attention to me. So now, now watch what happens. Yep. So what he's doing here is he, he's associating the correction with the dog. So he's staying away from the dog. He's avoiding the dog, which is... Good good. And, it's good and bad. It's good because he's avoiding the dog, good. It's bad because he's not understanding the concept, right. And I want him to get over that. I want him to know that he has to be with me, and that's what's turning that pressure on. Okay? Okay. Good heel. 
So I'm going to slide them around the dog. Good heel. Good. Oh my god. Good. 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 Yeah, buddy. Sit. Sit. Good. Good sit. So just move that way for a second. Good okay. sit. Yes. Good. 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 Yep. So I'm creating it. Wait, you're good right there. Now I'm creating that rubber band again. All right? So if he gets outside that band, he gets a pop. Yep. And this isn't for every dog. So this isn't what we're going to do for every dog. This is for an uncontrollable, over 100 pound ball of muscle. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I've been pulling, I've been pulling, uh, Hard I, I don't want to associate the dog with negativity. I just want to associate the pulling and the reactivity with negativity. Okay. Right, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we see this a lot in dogs. Um, nine times out of ten, it's it's fear based. Okay. So what happens is is the dog sees another dog, and every single time it's a bad reaction because you can't control him. You get nervous because you don't know what he's going to do. So when he sees another dog, pressure's on, and it's all negative. Right. Yes. Yeah. So we have to break down the whole concept of the dog isn't negative. The only thing that's negative about the whole situation is you being a jerk, <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. So that's what I'm associating. Hey, buddy, be a dog. Uh -uh. Sit. Good. Good. Nice. Oh, good. Good boy. Right. Oh, so good. yes. So rewarding that behavior because that's what we like to see. But you have to break it down in increments. You can't just say, okay, no play. Not gonna happen. But now I can go out here. I can go out with a walk with my 100 pound ball of muscle. And go ahead and walk. And walk. Okay. And have a nice loose leash, right? Yep. So him being attacked is what's caused him to be aggressive in the public eye and in your eye. But he's not aggressive, okay? He's just fearful of the other dog because why wouldn't he be? He's trusted them and they have attacked him twice. Or he's trusted you and other dogs have attacked him twice. Yeah. No big deal. That's behind us. Water on the bridge doesn't matter anymore. Okay? All we have to do now is rebuild the foundation of yes, there's a dog, and no, you don't have to kill it. Okay? Because in his primal instincts of being a dog, he will he will go out into public, see another dog, and feel like he's got to defend himself. So he's doing exactly what I'm doing to him. He's nip it in the bud. I'm going to attack them first before they attack me. Yes, I and I'm saying that. I'm going to correct the, the behavior before it gets any out of control. Right? Yes. So what you have to do is you have to break down the behavior and understand what it is. Which is what makes me good at what I do with, with dogs like this is because it's, it's, it's literally like sleeping. Like it's very easy for me. It's, 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 I can do it with my eyes closed at this point because I, I know within the bark, I know within the breathing, I know within the body language, everything about the dog and why they're doing it. Which is, you know, I don't do puppies, I do this. This is what I'm good at, okay? Which is nice because usually it's these types of dogs that make life hard and I'll make it not hard. So what you want to do is another dog, so go ahead and walk him for a second and just stop when I tell you to stop. Stop. Good. Good boy, Finn. That was good. So see how he gets into like a defense mode? He gets up, he feels vulnerable. Okay, so he's not reacting. He's actually behind me. Yeah, hiding. Hiding, right? <laughs> because what I did is I took away his ability to scare the other dog off, which is step one for him. And I won't let him do that anymore. So now he's going to go down to the actual raw behavior of what he really is, which is fearful. He's afraid, right? But you get a 100-pound dog that's barking and trying to go after the other dog. Is it aggression? Yes. But is he aggressive? No. Right? So okay. is he pulling and dragging and being aggressive? Yes. But does he mean it? No. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. So he's not mean, and he doesn't want to hurt the other dog. He feels like he has to. He's inclined to, to do these things because he's, he's insecure about it. And I would be too. Right? So we just have to make sure that we're going to, now we're going to break down the whole cycle of as soon as the dog passes, hey, good job, good job, buddy. And we add a lot of positive reinforcement behind what he's afraid of.
Okay, does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Okay, so go ahead and walk. Good then. You understand that what I'm doing is I'm making this dog oh, comfortable. So see his nose going. Yeah. So now, stop for a second. Now what he's gonna want to do is he's gonna want to rush to that dog's butt and sniff him, which is okay because it means he's not trying to attack him, which yeah. is something he doesn't get to do, right? Right. Or has he ever? No. Okay. So I'm going to let him do that, and I want you to keep walking. Because, but not yet, because what you're going to see is, is he's going to rush to the dog's butt, because I can tell by his behavior what he wants to do. And it, it's a lot of subtleties. So to give you a, the reason why I know that is because every time you turn, he looks right at his back end because he wants to go see him. So this is step one of, I can do this, right? Like I, I might be able to be coexisting with other dogs. So it's, it's brownie points for us that he's going after the other dog to, to, to be curious instead of to attack them, right? So you're just gonna keep moving, I'm gonna let him go. What he's going to do is he's gonna put his head down, he's gonna pull me to that, the butt of the dog, and he's gonna sniff, and then you're gonna keep moving. Okay. Okay? Yep. Cut right here, he'll do it right here. He always waits for you to get to that point. Good. Good. So, you could. Good. Now keep going. I'm going to stop him. You keep going. Good boy, Finny. Come here. Come here. Yay! Good boy! So now I'm bringing positivity to that. Yes. Right? Come on. I'm going to get him excited. He's probably going to try to do it again. Come on, Finn. Good boy! Good boy! What is that, buddy? Good. Can you come? Yes, good boy. Yay. Sit. Good. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> that went well. Yeah. Nice, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, easy concepts, but you need somebody to, to execute that properly. So, that's what I did. Okay. Now, um, that's good. Okay. Uh, I want to take it a step further, and I want to bring a real dog out, and I want to show you the, that whole process. Yep. Same breakdown, okay? Now, higher distraction, intact female, pretty girl, never met before, super dog reactive. So now, I play it smart. I say, when you work from me, quote a and I go out like this, he's terrified, by the way. Come. Yay! Sit. Boom. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Good. Nobody likes working for free. I don't want this to be stressful for him. I want him to enjoy his life as a dog without having to react to every dog that he sees. Okay? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Then sit. Sit. Good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move her. She's gonna run. He's going to get up. He's going to get excited. I'm going to reward him when he recalls back to me and stays off of her. Okay? okay. That's what I'm doing now. Is I know what's going to happen, so I'm painting a picture so you know what I'm doing. It's, this is my, this is like we're huddling right now, and then ready to break, we're going to go into a game. Okay? Go to yes. Spin pump. Go to touch. Yes. Good boy. Seats. Seat. Good. Go to us. Is, I don't care so much right now about anything but him just being around another dog. That's all I care about. Yeah. And him doing this. Sit. Good boy. Good. Right? So I'm making him coexist. Okay? That's amazing. I you have no idea how amazing this is. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I got nothing to say, but I'm glad. Good. Doing guys is he basically was wearing a mask of aggression. And underneath was a little baby. Yes. I just took off his mask. Now he won't go near her. Right? So if I put pressure, right? I come back here and I walk right towards her. Good boy. Sit. He's doing good. Good. Yep. 
Good heel. Go down my two heel plots. Good. Go down, sit. Yes. Good girl. Up. Sit. Don't try this at home. No. Okay. Um, I've done this hundreds of times. Good. So this is me using positive reinforcement to reward him for what I want. So he'll do more of this. Good. You just need to look at him now. No, when part of it is, is I have control, and the other part, well, there's three parts. I have food, I have control, and I've taken off that mask. And now I'm, I'm calling his bluff. That's what I'm doing. But it takes, I think, it doesn't work for every dog. Like, you can't just say, oh, it's an aggressive dog. Watch, I'm just going to correct it. No, 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 no. It's a diagnosis, okay? It's what I do. I look at symptoms, I read behaviors, I calculate, I execute. That's what I do. It's a process. I make it look easy because I've, I've done it a lot. Kura, yes. Good, Finn. Kura, Matui, touch. Good. Good girl. That's it. Heel. Good. Us. Good. Good. Sit. Good. Stay. Good stay. Good. Good stay, Kota. Yes. Come. Yes, good boy. So no reaction. Right? He had his back to her. She flew away. She made noise. He didn't care. He came right to me. That's my boy. Yeah. That's my boy. Sit. Good. Very good. Questions? No. What is I like to see him, um, here's my process typically, is I work the dog on obedience, make sure you understand what I'm doing. Second session, we start bringing out fake dogs. Third session, we get into real dogs. I wanted to end this now because of his size, okay? Because he's too big to be pulling you. I can, and, the, and the thing is for me is it's really hard because I can, I can do this every session, every time and just boom, kill it, and it'll be done. But I usually don't because I like to build the foundation of why we're doing it. Curriculum, 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 test. Got it, right? But because of his size and his safety, your safety, and the other dogs around him's safety, I'm like, I'll just stop it now. So it'll take me 10 minutes to end that for a dog, and I'll be able to go walk downtown anywhere and be fine. And just stay with him. Yes. Because again, he was bluffing. He had this aggression on as a mask, this big scary Halloween mask, and underneath was a little baby. And I took his mask off, I called his bluff, and I said, I know you're afraid, that's why you're putting this mask on, to think that you're something you're not, because that's why we wear masks, right? To be somebody we're not. And underneath is who you really are, and that's who he really is. Koda, yes. Good, that's who he is. He's just a two-year-old Roddy that, you know, whatever. Koda, good touch. Go touch, Matui. Good girl. So, um, do you have any questions on that? No, I'm, I'm, I always thought that he was afraid of other dogs and that's why he was doing what he did. Yes, that's it. Yes, exa exactly. Um, so, in conclusion, your homework is when you, okay, you're not trying to choke him, pull him, or muscle him out. You're trying to go, wham, hey, quit it. Make his bad behavior uncomfortable so he doesn't want to do it, right? Okay? So we have we have a fence in the front yard, a yeah. small front yard. Yeah. And dogs walk by all yeah. their owners, and that's when he's on deck, he goes insane. Stay. Yeah. Um, so stay. If I had this leash on him, or this collar, and, yeah. leash, and I sat out there, or yeah. with him out in front, and waited, because they come yep. out at the same time yep. every day. You, you do, them. for your benefit. However, you're never going to be able to control the variable which is the other dog, Yes. right? So no matter how much work you do, you can't control the other variable. So say he's this he, he's a 100-pound dog, reactive dog. You've never been able to get him around another dog until 20 minutes ago, right? <laughs> right, right. So the point is, is the, so thank you guys so much for watching Finn's second episode. As you guys know, there's a lot that goes into all of the training that we do in the filming, the editing. Um, and everything else in between. So please like this video, share it with anybody that would benefit from it. And remember, 
Um, don't try this at home. This episode was, I expedited this very, very quickly for the owner's sake because of the size of this dog. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.